All right, guys. It is a fine, I think, heading to 83 degree. 83 degree uh, December morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this breezy, warm, I think it's Thursday, December 16th. 2021 uh, here in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the Oasis of Freedom where I have spent the last hour and a half on tech support with a cell phone company. Good Lord. Anyway, now that I've survived that, I can finally get back to doing what I try to do every day and that is bringing you today's chronicle of the collapse and with all of the choices on the mainstream media today uh, I have chosen this uh, broken record chronicle of the collapse I think this is the I'm 100 percent sure it's at least the second time I'm 50% sure it's the third time, and I'm about 20% sure it is uh, even the fourth time I have done this broken record rant. And this time, this rant is coming from the hellhole of Haiti. Haiti, uh, you know, Haiti is our own little slice of uh, sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, here in the Western Hemisphere, uh, anybody wanting to see what the collapse of global industrial civilization and a planet looks like need to go no further than Haiti. Haiti, it, it is a true pit from hell. It epitomizes every single thing wrong with this global industrial civilization, this entire planet. It is a snapshot into the future of planet Earth. And what happened there uh, in the last day or two, obviously just the latest example of why Haiti is the poster child of collapse. Uh, anybody wondering what Mad Max is going to look like, uh, go just go on to YouTube and put in something like uh, fuel truck explosion in Haiti and you will see hell on earth. See, the last time I did a video is when one of these fuel trucks exploded in Pakistan. Uh, so I ran the, the video footage that was on about 500 other YouTube channels. And my video was written down not for a copyright violation, but for violating YouTube's community guidelines. They left up the identical video from probably 100 more YouTube channels, including all the mainstream media channels, but my video was ripped down, got a community uh, guideline strike, so obviously uh, you will have to go on to YouTube yourself and uh, search that. And there's a plenty of videos. So with all of the coverage, we're going to go with Al Jazeera uh, over there in Haiti. Take it away, Al Jazeera. Death toll in Haiti fuel truck blast reaches 75. Dozens of people were injured after a fuel tanker exploded in the northern city of Cap Haitian early on Tuesday. <clears throat> All right. 
the death toll from the explosion of a fuel tanker truck in Haiti's northern city of, ha of Cap Haitian has risen to 75 people, according to local reports, <clears throat> as the Caribbean nation struggles to cope with the latest in a series of political crises and natural disasters. This is neither a political crisis nor a natural disaster. This is a crisis of either, choose your term, 75 actually over 100 clueless morons racing toward, racing toward an overturned fuel truck, or you can call them if you are a snowflake, you can probably find another word for them. If you are a doomer, this is a case of more than 100 clueless morons seeing a fuel truck overturn in their neighborhood, and, in, and instead of running the hell away, they run toward the fuel truck in a desperate attempt to scoop up any amount of gasoline that they can get their hands on. That the, the promise of a gallon of gasoline is greater than respect for one's own life. When a country is in the middle of Mad Max, in the middle of collapse, it is gasoline is going to be the most important thing on anybody's mind that you see fuel gasoline leaking out of a truck, you don't run away from it, you run toward it. This is a, an example of the absolute joke of getting off of fossil fuels. Alright, the truck derailed in Haiti's second largest city early on Tuesday while trying to avoid running over a motorbike. Yes. Uh, witnesses say residents rushed towards the tanker after the accident to collect the spilled petrol, otherwise known as gasoline, before the vehicle exploded into a fireball damaging cars, homes, and shops in the neighborhood. Pierrot Augustine, an official with Haiti's Department of Whatever, uh, said the death toll had risen to 75 by yesterday. And uh, again, you really need to go on. I would love to share this. The Al Jazeera has the video of it. <clears throat> Frandy Jean, who heads Haiti's fire brigade for the north of the country, said fuel stored at nearby homes and people approaching the truck after it flipped made the outcome of Tuesday's explosion worse. Quote, The driver had warned the people not to go near the truck. They did not listen. They were carrying their telephones, which they used as flashlights, and some people tried to perforate the tank with hammers. So, our, 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 so what? If you're following this, uh, the truck was overturned. You know this big tanker truck, and there were actually people uh, running up with hammers, trying to bang holes through 
you know, the, the giant tank of gasoline on the back of the truck. They weren't just scooping up the stuff that was already leaking, probably because it was, you know, on the street and they couldn't get their buckets or their milk jugs or whatever underneath it. So you have to picture uh, desperate, clueless morons with hammers trying to smash through the metal walls of a truck full of gasoline in their desperate plea to get their hands on a gallon of gasoline. If anybody does not understand what Mad Max looks like. Haiti has been suffering from, from fuel shortages exasperated by a month-long blockade by gangs earlier this year on fuel terminals in the capital and surrounding areas. And uh, I've, I've mentioned this already about uh, how these roving gangs have, have, are pretty much just doing what they want to and we already have roving gangs at the fuel terminals in Haiti getting their hands on as much as they can steal to sell on the black market. Uh, so this is for a, a truck of fuel that actually made it through the, the gangs. Um, that blockade did ease in November as hospitals were on the verge of shutting down. I'm not sure what the connection is between blockading gasoline at fuel terminals and hospitals shutting down. Uh, anyway, however, shortages and spiraling petrol prices have persisted. So you have the combination of the shortage to begin with, and then, of course, the price of a gallon of gas going through the roof in Haiti. So what do you have? What do you think you're going to have when a fuel truck turns over? You're going to have people desperate for gasoline, risking their lives, running out with hammers to smash holes through an overturned gas truck. All right. Pope Francis is now weighed. Pope Francis voiced solidarity with the people of Haiti in the aftermath of the explosion. Yes. Quoting the Pope, Poor Haiti, one thing after another. They are a people who are suffering. Let us pray for Haiti. They are good people. Good people, religious people, but they are suffering so much. I guess the good religious Haitians who are not running amok and gangs of criminals blockading uh, fuel ports are those good religious people running towards an overturned tanker with hammers. A day earlier, Prime Minister Errol Henry visited Justin University Hospital uh, where there were not enough beds to tend to all the wounded. Quote, We are sad that so many people got hurt and so many people died. Yes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. In addition to, this, to the at least 75 people who are now dead, more than 50 people were injured in the blast, according to authorities. Patrick Abamore, deputy mayor of Capation, said he had seen dozens of people burned alive 
adding that it was impossible to identify them. Jean Gracia Koch, medical director at the hospital, said 14 people had died while being treated for wounds caused by the blast. Quote, we need all the help we can get. The hospital is not used to having so many injured. The shortages have made people let down their guard. Talking about the fuel shortages have made people let down their guard and not take the precautions that should be taken with regards to fuel. Yes, I guess uh, running towards a leaky fuel truck, uh, especially with a hammer in your hand to get the leak to increase is the new definition of letting down your guard. Okay, letting down your guard otherwise known as risking your life for a gallon of gas. Patients with burns on as much as 50% of their bodies were on the hospital's porch due to a lack of space inside the facility. Uh, said uh, Coke, adding that the hospital is accustomed to treating burn victims from explosions in homes, incidents that have involved up to 20 people. One of the poorest were one of the poorest countries in the world, Haiti, has been suffering from periodic natural disasters, gang violence, and a long-standing political crisis made worse by the assassination of President Jovenel Moise in July. The country also has struggled to rebuild in the aftermath of a devastating earthquake in August that killed more than 2,200 people. Anyway, guys, uh, anybody wanting to see a snapshot of the collapse of society Global industrial civilization and the planet does not need to go to sub-Saharan Africa. You only need to go as far as Haiti. I don't even know how far I am from Haiti right now. But uh, since we have chronicled, chronicled the collapse of a planet, uh, I need to figure out what to do on this 83 degree day. I'm going to go scrounge for food in, uh, in the freezer of a suicide victim. That's what I'm going to do with my time next. I strongly advise you to get out there and scrounge through the food left behind by suicide victims while you still can. Bye guys.